Hey everyone, happy Friday. I'm Rachel. And I'm Jessica. And today we're using polymer clay to create jewelry. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. It's like adult Play-Doh. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna kind of just make some different shaped jewelry pieces and kind of give you some tips and tricks as we go. Um, definitely not experts in this. <laughs> so you'll kind of like see us make mistakes too, mm -hmm. probably. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. You can really customize the, um, the different colors you use and what you can put in them. We mm -hmm. were experimenting with like metallic flakes. Yeah. You can put like glitter. I even um, did some alcohol ink. Yeah. There's uh, a lot of different yeah. things you can do with polymer clay. Yes. And then once you're all done, then you just cook it in the oven and mm -hmm. that's what sets it. Yep. So it doesn't dry out, so you don't have to worry about like working quickly or anything. You can spend as long as you need on it, and you can go back to it later. Which Nothing will I dry like out. That. Yeah. And I don't have to like yeah. worry about getting it back in the package yeah. or like really, really leaving like something that. out because I leave stuff out. And <laughs> then you just bake it. You can bake it in your regular oven. Um, bake it at usually two seventy five. This said three twenty five, but I've always baked them closer to like. 275 okay, 300 yeah. and then you just bake them for 15 minutes if they're little up to 30 minutes if like they're a, a thicker piece mm -hmm. and then that's it yeah. you have your jewelry yeah and that's so fun yeah very easy like it it's it's easy but also not as it can easy be as you think. it like, can be as yeah. complex or as yeah. simple as you it want it depends on your designs yep <laughs> we were looking at examples and a lot of them look very Whoa. yeah crazy yeah like Amazing. detail like, and like, like little paintings on a yeah. made with clay. Yeah. But yeah, then there's other pretty ones just where simple. it's just a shape. Yeah. It's like oh, look how cute that is. So I think is. today mine are gonna be kind of simple. Yeah. Easier. Well, well, yeah. Yeah. We'll just get started. And see how they go. Yeah. All right. So let us know if you have questions too as we go. Um, let us know too if you ever played with polymer clay. Mm -hmm. There, there are different brands out there. This one we're using is the Arteza brand. They have a big, <laughs> bless you. Thank you. They have a big old package of these. Mm -hmm. It comes with like how many it, colors? I want to like say it was 30, forty-two. Forty? Forty-two. That's such a random. Yeah, number. does it say forty-one? Forty-one. Forty-one colors, um, which is a really nice starting point. Mm -hmm. Like, because I don't know what color I want, and so it's a really cute little squares. And it also comes with a few different tools. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they're all for. I really don't. But um, they like some different texture-y kind of things here. Um, it also comes with a couple of jewelry things here. Yeah. Uh, so that's nice. And then um, also we we have to make the make it into jewelry. We grabbed a couple. We have a gold and a silver. Um, it's like a little jewelry kit. Yeah. And it's like a little pack yeah. with like jump rings and the fish hook kind yep. of things. So um, that's all what that is. And then we have, oh, we got a pack of like, they're, they're clay cutters. So, you know, kind of just like these little cookie cutter things. I, you probably could just use cookie cutters if they're Yeah, if they're small, small enough, enough. And yeah. So got some different shapes. Um, I'm really liking the circle. These are two different packs we have. I really like the circle ones and like this pack has just random shapes like squares mm -hmm. and stars and hearts and there's a flower in here mm -hmm. um yeah so um and I'm just working on this clay I was mixing colors yeah and so not even do you have all these colors you have as you many, can mix yeah too. you can mix yeah um so what you you want to start with a very clean surface don't start with a dirty surface mm -hmm. it will get into your clay i found that out yep. um and then it just looks dirty like you can you can um kind of disguise it with some glitter <laughs> which i did but um very clean clean surface and you want it to be hard mm -hmm. surface because you're going to be like kind of rolling it out um and then you want to put down like parchment paper uh we don't have any so You'll just watch us struggle without that. Yes. But <laughs> if you do it on there, it makes it so much easier because then you don't have to like roll it like, off. Pick, like picking it up. That's and, the hardest part. And move it to yeah. another surface because then you can shift it around a little bit where if it's just there, it's nice and easy. Yeah. 
Um, cause that's like the hardest part is after you design it all, like getting it into the oven, mm -hmm. if you just design it on your parchment paper, like ready to go and then just put it in the oven, that, that'll be the best way to do it, mm -hmm. which we don't have that here right now, yeah. but that's okay. You'll, you'll, we'll get the design part together. Um, and I've just been mixing, um, I have some turtle green and I've been mixing that with pale green and some white. I'm trying to get like, um. More of a mint color. I'm not quite there yet. You'd have to. Uh, I would. White. I would take a lot of white and just grab like a little tiny piece of that. That. Yeah. yeah. That'd probably be easier. And then that'd be a mint. White. We're gonna run out of white. Yeah. Um, we also sell individual packs of polymer clay as well. Right. Um, we have a lot of Sculpey clay, which I know a lot of the. Uh, the clay jewelry artists like to use. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and clay um, jewelry is really big right now. I mm -hmm. see it everywhere. Um, yep. I see it on TikTok. Like, um, they're making their, like, you know, behind the scenes videos of how they mm -hmm. make it. It's so fun to watch. Um, and yeah, a lot of people just sell their jewelry on Etsy or wherever. Or just wear it. Yeah. Just make just it for yourself. It. Yes. You can personalize it. Yeah. I'm starting by making some cherries. So all I have is I just rolled out some little balls you using red. Yeah. Just tiny little, little balls. Just little balls. Just grabbed a little piece of clay and then just rolled it up. Uh, then I'm going to use this piece of uh, gold wire. Um, this was from our, like our jewelry pack. So it's a little bit thicker wire. And I'm going to use this as its stem. Mm -hmm. and then just give it a little curve, like a cherry stem. If you want, like um, like a marble effect, you could Ooh, just stop good, right yeah. here. Yeah. Um, that's really pretty to do. I I was doing that earlier with my practice ones. Um, <clears throat> funny story. Our practice ones. <laughs> <laughs> Do we want to show them? Yeah, well, we brought them up. Might as well show them now. So, but we, so we have a toaster oven. We're that's like, been here for probably... We could totally bake these in the toaster oven, right? Well, this toaster oven, <laughs> it's been here for probably 15 years. At least. It's very old. It's old toaster oven. Um... And so we just had it over at our desk, and we and made all yeah. of our examples yeah, put them and on. practice ones, put them in there, and it's like smoking. Yeah, like, like it's smoking. like the toaster is smoking, and not so the clay, whole... like just the toaster. And we're so like, our whole office area is like, um, so maybe we yeah. should put this outside. So we put it outside, and it but, just smoked away for its yep. 15 minutes. We set it for 15 minutes. Yep. So right before our class started, we were like, oh, let's go check on our our pieces that we made. So here's all of our burnt pieces. <laughs> They're these, not supposed to be this color. These were all white. <laughs> this, this, I made all these little cherries. These cherries Aren't used to be bright and they're also cherry. stuck on there. And then, yeah, we didn't, we didn't have any of the paper. <laughs> so they're also stuck on here. Oh my goodness. But that's, so that, that's the idea for the cherry. Just imagine it not burnt. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, yeah, we were playing around with different shapes and I had like gold flakes in these. Mm -hmm. these. These were like a really pretty pink. Yeah, we they um, looked really cool. We should have taken a before picture. Yeah, that would have been good. And then we, like I said, we didn't have the parchment or wax paper. You really so, need the parchment or wax paper. So they're paper. stuck on here. Yep. Yep. And so, <laughs> so it's just very comical how like, it this turned was out. Like this was white. <laughs> now they're just... Brown. Yeah, that thing black. was so smoky. Oh my goodness. And it still smells back here. Yeah. Yeah. And I, 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 might I met Emily earlier. She was like, what was that smell? Did you guys like cook something? I'm like, yeah, we were, we were doing our earrings, which didn't work out. Which did not work out. So we can just take these home and bake them in the regular yes. oven. Yes. Or I've, I've baked the like polymer clay in toaster ovens before and it went... It was totally fine. But probably not like a 20-year-old no. one. No. Yeah, it was just like our regular, our daily toaster oven. <laughs> and it was fine. 
<laughs> and we're like, oh, it would be so nice if we could bake them today. Yeah, no. We can. We Let's can. pull out this thing that's deep in the sink. We can't have sink. nice things. Yeah. Here. No. Okay, here's the color I was more looking for. It's like a nice, light, minty color. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put that down my surface. I just have like the top of the We Are um, stamp platform thing. You pretty much just want a nice, smooth, smooth surface. flat. You don't want anything that has texture to mm -hmm. it because it will show up. So mm -hmm. unless you want that. Um, so then you just kind of smush it down. And then you take a very fancy roller, which don't have right now. <laughs> We've been using markers. <laughs> or or, or mine has been bottle. this glass bottle. I like they, these. They this. do make special rollers. Like yeah. it's an acrylic nice roller for clay. We, we have that. It's just not in stock right now. So couldn't grab that out. Of course. But this works fine for just these small pieces. So you just, you really just roll it out. And you have to kind of play around with the thickness of it. Um, if it's too thin, then it's really hard to like do more with it, I guess. Um, but you don't want it too thick either that it's like can take forever to bake. And mm -hmm. I feel like it'd be heavier too. Yeah. On your ears. Yeah. Yeah. Cause then for earrings, especially you want that nice and light. Yeah. So. so all I'm doing to make these leaves is first I'm just rolling like a little tiny log, like a little, just a little boop, and then I'll take one side and kind of pinch it, and that is going to be like the tip of the leaf. And then this tool, it has like a rounded back, so I've just been taking that and mushing it. On my little leaf. You make it look so easy, too. Look at and that. And then look at that. That's all done. Now, I tried this earlier. Mine did not look like that. <laughs> I need more practice. Like anything. Practice. Practice. Yep. yep. So I'm going to take some little, like, gold leaf fl flakes. Um, we You can find these from a lot of different brands. This one is with the, the color pour um, mm -hmm. stuff. There's, like, a little pack of them, different colors. Which I really like. It's such a small container because you don't really need a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to kind of just sprinkle that over my nice mint color carefully. I'm going to do some bigger chunks and smaller chunks just kind of all over. Now you can like mix it into your clay more too and it will be more like hidden. Or I'm just kind of putting them on top and tapping it in. I don't really know if this is the best way to do it or not. It's just, that's just how I practiced it. <laughs> all right, so that's all I have. Isn't that so for cute? For my little cherry. That is so cute. And, and it's yeah, not burnt. I feel like, and it's not burnt. <laughs> we won't use the same toaster we won't oven. use that, no. But yeah. But at least we know yeah. not to do that again. Yeah. I think it's just so cute. Let's see, what else? Um, I was experimenting with... Uh, these were actually alcohol ink ones. I wonder how those would have turned out. I know, they looked so cool before. It wasn't burnt, yeah. But then I burnt them. <laughs> so, oh, uh, but yeah, I think that's pretty cool that you can take alcohol ink and use it too. Mm -hmm. So I'll just show that. So many possibilities. And it's cool because you can take things from your stash that you already mm -hmm. have. Um, what about like little beads? Yeah. You know like those tiny little beads? That'd be fun to put in there. Or even just to have some actual beads just um, like dangling oh, from yeah. them as well. So when you first pull out some clay uh, it's usually like a little hard, so then I just move it around a little bit, and after squishing it in your hands, it's good to go. This clay, you don't have to like smush around a lot. You know, like if you use Sculpey, it's a bit harder. Mm. Um, so you just smush it around in your hands, and the warmth of your hands will get it to a better consistency to work with. 
When I'm going, so I'm going to roll this into a sheet. When I like to, I like to first have like a nice ball when I'm rolling things mm -hmm. and try to get rid of all of the lines that could be in it. So I've got a nice ball. Just put it on here. Take my <laughs> lovely roller. <laughs> just roll it out. We're such professionals. I know, right? We have any wipes over here? Yeah, not a lot. So I got my little foil flakes down into my blob of <laughs> clay. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, you really don't need to work with like a ton if you're only making, you know, a couple small areas. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to like, don't feel like you need to use the whole entire thing. So I would start out small and then add more as you need it. Okay, so for this one, I don't know. I kind of like the look of a, um, this is a really perfect size. It's like a rectangle and then a little circle. So you've seen those. And then you just, you put holes in, in them and like a little jump ring to connect them. So I think that's what I'll do with this. Which you're not gonna be able to see me finish it since I don't have any finished examples. Yeah, we we were gonna have this very well planned out where oh we have some finished ones we put together. Yeah. We have some. show how we put the yeah. you know the hardware on it. Yeah, sorry, that all got burnt. <laughs> <laughs> so you you're really just pushing it down like a cookie cutter, you know. Um, there is a sharp edge and an not sharp edge, so use the sharper one. And I like to give it a little wiggle, make sure it's all the way down. All right, and I pulled out, let's see, some blending solution, and then some different, I got some alloys, and then Ooh, some- the alloys would be really yeah, pretty. Yeah, and then some, um, shades of blue and green. So I'm going to start this. I've got this all nice and flat just by putting some blending solution on here. Just a nice little coat of it. And I'm going to carefully peel away my excess. And I'm just using one of these tools to just spread out the blending solution so it's nicely covered. And now, like how I would with any alcohol ink project, I just kind of drip on the ink and just play with it until I like it. I really like this silver alloy. Yeah. Maybe I'll add some pearls. Ooh. I usually like pearls. That'd be fun. Yeah. Okay. So here are, can you see that? I have my two rectangles, circles, and then, um, before baking, you want to put in your holes. Um, that's where like the hardware is going to go. So I'm just, I guess you could probably measure. Um, I'm eyeballing it. So in my rectangles, I'm just kind of towards the top with middle. And then in my circles, I want two holes because I want it to connect to the rectangle. And then I need a hole on top to put like the the fish hook little thing. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. And I like to uh, just keep blowing mine until it is dry. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah, that silver alloy really stands out. Ooh, yeah. Nice. 
So these are ready to bake. Now I would would much rather have them on parchment paper yeah. or wax paper. Where you but, don't have to move them or yeah. anything. But look how pretty those are. I just won't burn these ones. <laughs> So then I have this extra stuff that, um, don't toss it. I mean, you're going to keep using yeah, it. For so sure. I'm going to kind of just mix in that, um, those foil flakes. I so I kind of show you what the mix in more looks like. So let us know in the comments, have you guys ever used polymer clay and what did you make? Mm-hmm. Because you can do more than just jewelry. I mean, you mm -hmm. can make, you can make a little dish for your jewelry. Yeah. <laughs> for little make... figurines. Yeah. Oh, because uh, I know we have a lot of scrapbookers. You could make charms. Charms. Um, which, mm -hmm. like you, so you could dangle them off of albums. Yes. I think that would or be your really cute. Yeah. Or um, just make like little, like embellishments. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like yeah. this as an embellishment, then I could cut it out in a shape, and yeah, yeah, I could definitely add that, that right to a page. There. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna add some more of this blue in here, and maybe I'll go for more of like um a swirly marble look, and um I'll just kind of swirl it in here. I don't know if there's like a special technique, but this is just kind of what I do. <laughs> Whirl it around till you like the look. I'm trying to plan out my earring here. So I like the circles. Yeah, I do like I'm the circles. I'm just trying to think, mm -hmm. like, what size circle. Yeah. Because, I mean, I guess... Do you like bigger earrings or smaller earrings? We're both wearing pretty big earrings yeah. today. Yeah. So, yeah, yours are kind of bigger. So I'll do this bigger... One bigger circle... And one smaller to layer. There you go. I'm just going to cut it out. Well, a circle on top would be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was going to do like the big circle and then a little circle layered on Ooh, it. Oh, that's good, yeah. So I kind of have like my marbled look here. Squishing it together. surface is clean. The only thing is I'm running out of space. Maybe I'll have to do oh. two smaller circles. Yeah. Because, yeah, I'm really, I don't have enough space for my two bigs. <laughs> Whoops. I guess I could roll it a little bit. Yeah. I'll roll it because I'm, like, so close to it fitting. Ooh, this looks like the beach like waves. that's what i was just thinking with this one. Ooh, i like this look and then there's just some tiny specks of that foil in there so if you want more like a subtle look of that foil then you can just mix it in I'm trying to just do this very gently because i don't want my top to crack where i have all of my alcohol ink to roll a little bit more. That's so relaxing. It really is. It's just, it's so, this like is you fun. feel like a little kid of Play-Doh, <laughs> but you're actually making something that you can wear, you know? It's very fun. Yeah, like, uh, I got a Harper some of this for Christmas last year, and so we'll do it together for bed, and it'll be fun, but then... Like after, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, she's like, okay, I'm done. And then I'll just be sitting there for a <laughs> few more hours just yeah. Yeah. working with it. Okay, I'm going to do the circle for these. And maybe I'll put like a small circle on top or something. I don't know. I don't know, though, because I don't really want to cover up these really nice um, marbly waves mm -hmm. I got going on. space yet. So I think I've got enough space now, but I kind of put some cracks in my surface. Hmm. So I'm, but that's 
fine because alcohol ink is very forgiving and you can just go back into it. Yeah. So I'm just going to Sorry add some that. more blending solution. I kind of just like my circles like that. Aren't those pretty? So yeah. I'm going to add in my little um, holes for hardware. You know, if you like it, just leave it. Mm -hmm. If you don't like it, keep fussing. Yep. I like those. Just simple, mm -hmm. circle, kind of marbly look. Um, when I'm done, maybe I'll give you guys like a close-up look. I'll, yeah. I'll like move it close to the camera. But um, So I'm still going back to my same little bit of clay here. And then I'm just adding more of this in it. I really like this color. What shape should I do next? Um, maybe I'll do something more. I don't know. Cause there are. Oh, I do like the little square too. Yeah. Cause that'd be cute to do like you know to. Two little squares, or even three. Oh, yeah, three. Three squares connected. Um, so, like, a little dangly one. That would be pretty. I could do that. Maybe I'll add, add a little bit more of the pale green in here. So I really like that you can just mix colors. Yeah. Even though it comes with so many pretty colors, but it's Yeah, nice. sometimes you just are looking for... That one specific yeah. thing or color or whatever. And it's just so relaxing just to sit here I and know. smush it. Great. I'll do a close up so you can see my Ooh. alcohol ink. I don't know if you can see it can you see or if it shine? just looks like a blob. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it, but it looks really shine. cool in person, yeah. And now I should be able to fit everything on here. I'd say it's probably better um, to over like use a little bit more clay so then you don't have to do like what I just did where oh. I realized I didn't have enough clay yeah. and yeah. have to do all the fuss that comes with that. Yeah. Yeah, I really like adding the alloys in there because it gives it that really cool silver that makes you think more of like metal jewelry, like regular mm -hmm. metal jewelry. Okay, so there I got my pieces punched out. And I'm going to lift my excess clay off. Isn't that so satisfying when you pull that yeah, off? Yeah, and I've got it's it all so in one satisfying. piece. And then this, of course, I'll use that. Yeah. That's yeah just mix just this mix around. Yeah. yeah. Mix it around and get get a new cool color. It's just a tiny bit darker. Let me try to get these creases out so there it's a little bit marbled oh yeah okay. roll it out with my marker <laughs> it just this just cracks me up <laughs> but hey use what you have you yeah. know when in a pinch when in a pinch you get creative yeah yeah So I've found the best way once you if you have it on a surface that isn't the surface you're going to bake it on. So yeah, like I said, put it on parchment or wax paper first. But if you don't, I think it's best if you just kind of roll it up from mm -hmm. one side. Yeah, instead of trying to take like one of these tools and going under it, um, I found that doesn't really work. <laughs> yeah, so it, all I'm doing it, like, is... It pinches it. Yeah. And I, like, yeah. So... 
and just kind of roll it with your finger. And then it's usually pretty easy to flatten back out. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do like some stripes kind of across, which looks cool. So I'm going to go back to this darker turquoise um, and just kind of make some worms. <laughs> like this is what I always called them when we were kids. You just yeah. wiggle it out and make a worm. Um, so we can get some nice stripes going here. With all those techniques screwing up, you know what? They come back. Mm-hmm. Roll on my worm. Right. Like this. Let's see. And I'll just roll it out. I'm going to do kind of like staggered kind of stripes going around. I don't really know. I'm making this up as I go. <laughs> That's usually how it goes. Yep. So just rolling this. Actually, I have this. So that is pretty cool. Just the marble. But I have this color that I've just got a little bit more of. So I'm just going to mix them together. Because I like using up all the scraps. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'll even... I can mix in a little bit more white. Maybe I should do another color too. Mm -hmm. Um, could do like this light blue. That's pretty. Or there's this gold too. That's a little bit of shimmer. Oh I yeah. Could use that. Yeah, you that like your gold. I like my gold. Gold is just fun to add to anything. It just goes well with everything, I feel like. <laughs> so I'm going to keep adding my little stripes. Just kind of all over. Um, and then I'm going to go in with the gold too and see, see how this turns out. I'm just rolling mine out <laughs> with my bottle. With your bottle. <laughs> I like that there's a shimmer to this. That's so fun. Stripes with this. When I'm done adding them all, then I'll kind of like roll it back out again. Otherwise, it would be very. 3D, which is fine. I mean, you could do it that way too. Yeah. Yeah, sure. No rules. No rules. I'm going to use this little diamond. I'll just cut some out. And I'll fit as many as I can on here. The lines are not going to be straight. That's okay. Maybe I want them more wavy. Then to do that. Yeah. <laughs> if you can't make something straight, just 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 don't don't <laughs> don't stress yourself out trying to make things straight. Go for the wavy look. Yep. Yeah. I could just sit and do this. All I know. Day. Yeah, this is so, so nice. Thing. Too bad we just don't have an oven here. I know. Well, and it's like, whenever you do one thing, you just think of another idea to do. Yeah. Yeah. I've definitely noticed that. Like, oh, I have this. Now I have this extra piece of clay. What yep. can I do with this? Okay, oh, this. I, I can what do can this. What can I add to this? Yeah. yeah. How yeah. can I make this a little bit different, but still kind of the same? Yeah. You get a lot of those ideas. Yeah. And that's it, why we make such a mess. I think it's just like the <laughs> those like the freeing creativity. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. There's no rules. No rules. You just do it. And if you get an idea, you just do that. Yeah. And you got to do it like while it's in your head. Yeah. Like, because I just want to test it out and see if it works. I don't want to wait. Okay. So I got all like my stripes in there and now I'm going to roll it again. 
just to kind of smush them down, get them in there. And it's going to look, ooh, that's kind of cool, like abstracty, stripey mm -hmm. kind of thing going on. And then you can kind of choose where you want to, um, you know, cookie cutter it out of what, like what colors yeah, you get in there. Or and, what section looks yeah. cool and, you know. So that's the fun part. Mushed and now I forgot what shape I was doing. But I oh, squares. Square. I'm saying yeah. squares. Yep. Okay, so then I'm just kind of gonna pick and choose where I want these to kind of get both that yellow and I mean that gold and that darker blue in there. I think I'll make a flower. Um, I'll just make a little. Maybe I'll start with a circle. Yeah. And then like build a little flower on it. I tried to do a flower earlier and it was not turning out. So I just didn't do it. Okay, what color do I like? This color I was using is pretty nice. But I might want to use one that I can duplicate easier. make a darker like a fall because I like this burnt umber mm -hmm. okay we, we can go for a darker because it is getting close to fall oh I feel like it's barely summer well my summer just has gone by so fast um it's not even August yet some, some kids are getting back to school already, like, next yeah. week or so. We don't go back until the week of the 20-something that week. I just did a Christmas layout yesterday. Wow. Ready for the holidays. Yeah. I'm enjoying summer still. No, we can, we can do fall first. I like fall. Yeah. I do like fall. Here's the satisfying part. Except when you put your things too close together... Mm -hmm. Tricky getting that out. Oh. I keep looking around for a roller. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, it's just my bottle. It's just the bottle. Okay. Well, these ones I put too close together. Maybe I'll do a sunflower. Ooh, that'd be pretty. That's like summer and fall. Yeah. You know? But my background is a little bit darker, so it'll have like a little more fall feel. But yeah, the, still perfectly good for summer. Okay, so there's my background. These are fun. And then you can kind of like mix and match how you want this. I rolled it a little crooked. So I'm just gonna flatten it a little more evenly. Kind of knew it when I was cutting it. Yeah. But yeah. sometimes you're just like, well, I'll see how it goes first. Yeah. Okay. So here are my um, six squares. So I'm going to have like connected through a little jump ring. So I'm going to make holes, two holes on all of them except the bottom pieces. The bottom pieces just need the one. So I'm just eyeballing it. And I'm, maybe I'll make some leaves first. So like it has some leaves coming out of the background. Mm. Before I add in my sunflower. Fancy. Yeah. So I'll show you to make the leaves again. Because I just did that one little leaf. Yeah. And these are all ready for... Ready to bake. bake? Yep. And so then you just put a jump a jump ring in between all those. And then the last one is like that fish hook ring. The cute little dangly earrings. Um, let me give you a close up here. Ugh. Let's 
Sorry, it's going to be kind of shiny. Can you see those? Sorry if I whack you in the head. Oh. <laughs> and then my circles. And then those. Aren't those fun? Okay, now what do I do with this? Just mix it? Mix it? Maybe marble like it? Marble this? I'd say go for the marble first, and if you over mix it, then it's then like, you just then you just mix it. it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm starting with a ball. Rolling it a little bit to create like a little, little inchworm. It's and then so I'm going to pinch one of the sides or just kind of roll it so it has a little bit more of a... You make it like, look so easy. Like pinch side. More and like then, a carrot shape. Yeah, carrot. Yeah. And then I'm just going to take this and flatten it out. Wow. And there's Man, my like... little leaf. Again, you make it look so easy. Oh. And now I'll just put it on my piece. And that's exactly how I'm going to make the... Uh, the flower as well. So I'll just make keep oh, making that as petals. I see. That's fun. I'm adding a little more blue into this. And I'm twisting that in. The turtle green. Mm -hmm. I really like that. Yeah, that was probably my favorite color of here that we have here. And I also, this is the one I was doing earlier, the peach. Mm -hmm. That's really pretty too. Okay, get some more hush going on. Okay, so that's what I'm going to start with for the leaves. And I'll, I'll pull it up so you can see it. And now I'm going to start on my sunflower. But before I switch colors, because I was just using that dark purple and then that green, and yellow is a lot lighter color, so I'm mm -hmm. going to wipe off my hands. Good plan. So none of what I have on here is going to get on my yellow. Yeah, those lighter colors really show anything that you pick up. Onto the yellow. And so depending on how the petals are for the flower that I'm doing, like right now I'm doing sunflower, so their petals are like a little bit longer and thinner. So I'm going to make a longer and thinner log. Oh. Mm -hmm. Smart. There we go. I'm going to cut off some. And then same thing. So there's my long and thin log. And then I'll just pull this across it. Flatten it out. Hmm. There we go. There's my petal. That is so cute. So, or if you're doing a flower that has more of a rounded end, don't pinch um the top part you know like start if you started more let me show you if i started more with a ball instead of a log okay yeah and did this and now that that can be my petal like that oh yeah so then i'll just kind of pinch the end of it and cute. there's a petal cute Petal. Getting all fancy. I'm just doing basic shapes, guys. I can't. Keeping it simple. Um, I'm going to do like this. If you can see that, it's an oval. Do some ovals over here. Um, I got a really nice marbly swirl in here with a tiny bit of um, those metallic flakes. That are mixed in, or actually, I think it's that gold too. Mm. A tiny oh, bit of shimmer yeah. from that gold. 
Um, that shimmer, that gold shimmer is pretty subtle, but it is yeah. nice. So I'm going to make some ovals with that. So satisfying, especially when you can pull it off in one little swoop. All right, then these are just going to be basic one piece earrings. So I'm just going to put one hole on the top of those. Okay, and those are done. Nice. I like it. Look at those swirls. Mm-hmm. Get some good swirl. Okay, what other shapes should I make? Hmm. A few hearts. Oh, yeah? That'd be cute. I saw a cute layered heart earring. Yeah. Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah. You could also do it like how I did these squares. Mm -hmm. You could do hearts in the same way, either like two or three, and then, yeah, put holes in them, jump ring. I make dangly hearts. That's fun too. Um, I could do that in the peach color. Save this for later. Look at I still got a lot of good marble in there going yeah. on. Save yeah, that's, that. That's nice colors. That's and my I still go -to have this colors. little blob. That's a nice color. Don't throw any of that away. Yeah. Don't throw scraps of play away. And you you never know when you'll need a little bit of this color or that yeah. color. And also, you can, um, like, after you bake your clay, you can paint them with <gasps> acrylic right. paint as well. That's so even right. if you just have some ugly color that you're never going to use, just mix it into some shapes yeah. Yeah. and bake it and then just paint over it. Yep. Yeah. Get off all the blue off me. Um, don't, I did notice like the darker blue gets on your hands a little bit more than the lighter colors. I don't know why mm -hmm. that is, but just be aware of that. If you're going to a lighter color, not in the same color family, you know, just make sure your hands are clean. Yeah. Like same, same reason why I wiped off my hands before going to yellow. Yeah. But if I was just doing blues, I wouldn't wash yeah. my hands in between. I did not wash my hands in between all this because they're all pretty similar. I'm just going to dry my apron because <laughs> that's what an apron that's is for. That's what it's for and I don't feel like getting up. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go in with this nice peach color. And yeah, I think I'll do like a heart um something like how I did those squares maybe. I don't know. Let's just get it out and see what happens. Mm -hmm. It's a really nice peach. Some colors are softer than others. Mm -hmm. I don't know why in this pack. Um, yeah. I think so you just got to work it a little I feel bit more like if it's, it's harder. Yeah, I think it's the darker colors have some more stuff in them, so they're easier mm -hmm. to mix. Maybe where like the white is a little bit harder. Hmm. This peach is easier. Oh. It's oh. softer. Yeah, I don't hmm. know. Yeah, don't know. I don't know. Okay, that's... I don't know if this is going to be sunflower, because sunflowers have so many petals. <laughs> but I think that's a good amount of petals for this. Yeah. Are you going to put anything in the center? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to do... I want to... I might do, like, a purpley to kind of go... Ooh, that's a fun purplish. Is it too fun for me? I don't know. Is it too fun? <laughs> Never. <laughs> might be a little fun for me. Never. I'll go with it, though. Okay. What are we going to do? And, yeah, obviously you can do this with so many different colors to pick your the colors you like to do, use, mm -hmm. what you like to wear. Yeah, what, what are you going to wear? Are you more cool tones, warm tones? 
silver, gold. Also, yeah, keep that in mind too. Do you want silver hardware, mm -hmm. gold hardware? Um, I like both. I wear both. Yeah. Yep, I definitely wear both. Um, kind of just depends on my mood. I do like, um, like blues and mints. Like, as you can see today, I'm wearing like a light green. I feel like it goes with so much. I just cleaned off my roller, my marker. <laughs> I was thinking we have like these little dye picks. Dye picks would be perfect for texturing. Oh, yeah. Um, the center of this flower. Can I make four hearts of this? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, so there it is. There's my flower. That's so cute. Look at that. I don't know how well you guys can see stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cute in person. I got some alcohol ink on my cherries. Oh. It was bound to happen. Yeah. I'll just make some more cherries. Yeah, because you have to make me some cherry earrings. Yeah, cause, well, I already made four, but they all burnt. <laughs> they all burnt. <laughs> I wonder if they're savable. I could mm. probably paint them. Yeah. They still look burnt. They're burnt. <laughs> yeah, so if your oven is very smoky, Maybe use a different oven or something. Maybe don't use your... Maybe don't use a 20-year-old oven that's been discarded, pretty much. Yep. That thing stank. I don't know. It might be okay painted out. Oh, oh. Hey. We're, we're not going to look at them anymore. Yeah. They're, they're pretty quick to make, though. So yeah. it's not, like, a, a huge bummer. Here are my hearts. Just a medium. These, cute, these little peach hearts. They don't have to be for Valentine's Day. They can be yeah. whatever. So um, the bottom hearts, I'm just going to poke one hole into the top. And the top hearts, I'm doing two because I'm going to have my fish hooks at the top. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Those. I keep talking about them, but I'm not showing you guys what they are. If you're earring wear, you'll know. You know, these things. Can you see that? It's called a foot, a fish hook. <laughs> that will be at the top of it. And then in between will be the little jump rings. Now, I don't know if I want to do the silver or gold. I don't know what would look better. Gold might look nice with the peach. Yeah. I'll punch a little hole. Here for my flower. That so that could be like a necklace pendant. Ooh. Yeah. And then I could add to those, or I can just leave them. I kind of yeah. like that color. Yeah. I think I might just leave that. Very fun. All right. Do you have any other ideas to show? Or well, I mean, yeah, you could. We could have a ton of I know, ideas. We just keep going. <laughs> But that's probably a good introduction. Yeah. So um, you will pop these in the oven for how long? 10, 15 minutes. 10 15, 15. Like, so little things, like this is just a little, little thing. Or like the little cherries that I did, they're just pretty small. I would do those 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. if, if you're making bigger things, like this how, one's... How long would that take? This one's probably... I would do twenty on this. Yeah. This is still kind of small and dainty, but I mean, if you did, if you had something that was like a thick chunk, um, this one would probably still do twenty. Okay. But like a a good thicker piece, like maybe if we did like a thing like that, yeah. that one I'd do more like thirty. Yeah. yeah. So if you did like a thirty minutes. Yeah. So fifteen to thirty. The smaller it is, and you can always um. Put it, so if you have a smaller thing, put it in for 15 minutes, uh, take it out, 
cool it down, see if it's hard. When it's still warm, it'll still be a little soft, so let it mm-hmm. completely cool. cool it down. Mm-hmm. And if it if it is, if it's cool and it's still a little wiggly, just pop it back in for another five to ten. Mm-hmm. So it's pretty forgiving. And just don't use what we use. Don't yeah. Don't, don't use, use a twenty year old mystery toaster mystery oven toaster that oven was that smokes. That was just in the bottom cabinet oh. of our kitchen. That stinks. Yeah. So we will use a real oven for these, yeah. and um, we'll show you guys what they look like when they're done. Um, so be sure to look at our project gallery. That's where we post everything, and on our social media. Yeah. Um, and then let us know, too, if you guys are making this stuff, and, and tag us so we can see. Yes. I'd like to see them. Okay. We'll see you guys next week. See ya.